Hi, I'm Erin, the Reformed Health Coach, and this video is about donuts. Well, it's about donuts and it's not about donuts. Really, it's about the freedom to be able to eat the foods that you enjoy and have the body and the health that you want. Now, ideally, donuts aren't going to be part of a perfectly healthy, optimal diet, but is it perfectly healthy and optimal if you constantly restrict from the things that you really want to have and then end up binging on them? So I'm going to enjoy my donut while I do that. I'm going to go back and tell you a story about what used to happen when I tried to avoid the donuts and eat perfectly. Mm. Hey, take a walk with me. So I just enjoyed that delicious maple donut. And a really good habit to get into is anytime after you eat, just go for a short walk. Literally, even if it's five minutes, it's going to help burn off a little bit of the energy. But mostly, it's really good for your digestive system. And it allows you to just build more steps in easily into your day. We're all really, really busy. I get that. I am too. So if you can just build in these five, 10 minute walks after every time you eat, it makes getting those extra steps in no problem. And they really add up over time. So what I want to talk to you about though, is what happened to me when I used to try to eat perfect, when I used to say no to the donut. Now I'm not saying I say yes to the donut every time now. It depends. Do I want the donut or not? How strictly am I trying to, uh, you know, how important is a specific goal maybe that I'm trying to reach right now? Is there room in my current way of eating that I can fit that donut in? There usually is if I really want the donut. But I went through a pretty significant period of time where I was trying to eat perfectly. Perfectly paleo, perfectly whole foods, perfectly clean. Um, you know, it kind of had to fit into, into those boxes for me to feel good about myself eating it. And if you can 100%, if you can do that, and if that makes you happy, good for you. I'm not going to tell you you need to eat donuts for your health. Absolutely not. But the problem was I really wanted the donut. And it was more about, it became more about the perception of what I was eating rather than about what I was actually doing. So, for example, at my church, uh, pre-COVID at least, before church for about a half an hour, we would have donuts and coffee out. And so it was to encourage people to come a little bit early, hang out and talk with each other, have fellowship. And so this whole no donuts and coffee thing became this like weekly test of my willpower. And I was known as the runner. I was the, the fit, healthy Marine wife. And me eating a donut seemed to go against that, go against this kind of reputation that I had and it was the way that I perceived other people perceived me. So like, what would happen if they saw me eating a donut? Oh no, probably nothing would happen, right? So I would not eat the donut. I would live up to that kind of uh, expectation that I thought other people had for me and I would not have the donut there in front of everybody else. But I couldn't stop thinking about the donuts. I would spend the rest of the day, the next several hours, thinking about donuts. Sometimes I would actually make it several hours. Sometimes it was really right after church. There's a donut shop right outside of the neighborhood to the church on my way home or to wherever I was going. And I would frequently, after saying no to the one donut in front of people, and then I would go buy like four, five, six donuts and secretly eat them. So now instead of having maybe 400 calories, now I'm having... 1,600, 2,000 calories, 2,400 calories. I'm having four donuts. I'm having quadruple the amount of sugar, quadruple the amount of calories, all because I didn't want to be seen having the one donut. Or I just really felt like I needed to resist that one donut. Now, this didn't happen every single week. Because as I said, sometimes you just actually don't want the donut. But those times that I did actually want the donut turned into binges. And this is the restrict and binge cycle. So the way to get around this is, first of all, have a way of eating that is not so strict that you feel this need to rebel. So if you look at, you know, a 10-month-old, 12-month-old little baby, when they're first starting to get some independence, what do they do? They're reaching for that thing they know they're not supposed to have. And they look at you and they look back at the thing and they look at you and they reach for it and they're like, hee hee Because they know they're not supposed to. We are born rebels. So if you put a taboo on something, you're just 
innately going to be driven toward actually having that thing. So the can't have foods, the not allowed foods are, are just going to make you want to rebel and they're going to put you into that restrict and binge cycle. So instead, if you understand the basics of nutrition, the basics of energy balance, basically meaning calories in, calories out, you can work those types of foods in. Maybe it's not donuts for you. Maybe you don't care about donuts at all. That just happens to be a food that I really enjoy having. And it was specifically that food that was that trigger of that restrict and binge for me. So enjoy the food. Get into kind of the habit and the mindset of allowing treats to be treats. And that works on both ends. So one, if it's a treat, it means that it's not an everyday food. It's something that you allow yourself to indulge in from time to time. And the other part of that treat is it's a treat, so enjoy it. Allow yourself to enjoy it, to not feel guilty, to know that most of the time you're making decisions that honor your goals and honor your body's health. But every now and then, it's okay to just indulge in a delicious sugary maple bar. And coming up towards the end of the video, I'm going to give you a tip as to how you can enjoy that sugar while avoiding the crash. So I would love to know, what is that food for you that you just can't say no to or you hate to say no to, you try to say no to, and maybe you end up overindulging because of that? Have you experienced that before? What does that look like in your life? Pro tip for you here too. Since you're going to enjoy the donuts or whatever that food is going to be, especially if it's basically a pure sugar, pure carbohydrate type of food, as much as I enjoy pairing my sweet foods like donuts with coffee, it's also really important actually to include some protein. First of all, most people under eat protein anyway, so any chance you have to get more protein in is good. But secondly, when you eat like pure sugar, pure like carbohydrates, when you pair that with fat, protein, and fiber, or any combination of the three, it actually decreases the amount that your blood sugar is going to spike, which means you're not going to have that terrible crash afterwards. So one, while I'm drinking my protein shake and my coffee with my donut, I'm going to feel full faster. And so I'm probably not going to feel like I need a second donut, but also it's going to keep my energy level up high and I'm not going to have that terrible crash later. In case you're wondering, I use First Form Vegan Pro. I can't tolerate dairy myself. So whey protein, unfortunately, doesn't work for me. Although First Form's whey protein is amazing. I've tried it at least. Um, my tummy, however, needs the Vegan Pro. And it is so, so good. This flavor is the iced oatmeal cookie, and it literally tastes like those mother's iced oatmeal cookies. So, so good. Their chocolate is amazing as well. Uh, I need to get into a little bit more adventurous and try the other flavors out. But um, if you want free shipping, you can click the link below and check out what other uh, protein options might suit you. Hey, do me a favor. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel so you can get more content like this. I also am always willing to hear video suggestions. What do you want to know more about? What do you need help with? Also, if this particular video you think will help someone else, share it with them. Thank you for watching. Remember, reform your lifestyle, reform your health.